we're live, by the way. Okay, here we go. Sup, sippers. Right. What is up, man? Random question. If you're going to commit a crime, what would it be? Oh, my goodness. Low-key, man, I think arson, man. I love fire. <laughs> arson. And, like, you know, it, it's... I you know, in Power World. <laughs> yeah. Dude, think about it, man. With fire, you know, you know, like, we, we call that an unethical fire. Mm -hmm. But with fire, you can cook. Like, if you really think about it, the first That'd real invention from the cavemen was fire. So, I love <laughs> fire, I guess. You feel me? I feel like you were the caveman that invented fire, like, in a past life. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, me. Damn. Kind of crying. Public indecency. <laughs> public indecency <laughs> with my shirt off. <laughs> or I see you doing public indecency. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With your dick out. No, no. That's a Gion thing. Uh, I would only have my upper half. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'd never take off my pants. Even though I, I always get told that for some reason. Like, hey, take off your pants. It's like people that I know, though. Because it's like I have a tattoo. Who in says there. that? I, I have like a tattoo and they're oh. like, yo, take off the pants. We'll, we'll see. No, no, no. Mm. It's just like, you know how like homies would be like, just fun. Mm -hmm. Take off your pants. Take off your shirt. I, I think I just like to blow shit up. So kind of. I know that sounds kind of terroristy. Kind of like what? Yeah. Not fires, but just blowing things up. Oh, shoot, yeah. Seeing things fly all over the place. Not like sucking, right? What? <laughs> like BJ. No! <laughs> blowing it up on your face. <laughs> but <laughs> why you gotta make it sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> just blowing it up in here, baby. First of all, <laughs> that one, that's not oh. a cry. <laughs> oh, Dude, God. So. Well, <laughs> speaking of... <laughs> speaking of... <laughs> speaking of committing crimes our goal in like five to ten years is to migrate to texas right of course hopefully you do too g five to ten years yeah it's but a, it's a good place here. i'm getting second thoughts about that because of all the things that are going on in texas dude like, right have you heard of like all that invasion shit like from mexico but they're not even mexican they're like middle eastern and shit like who knows where they're from well i haven't heard that but what i've heard was texas wants to be its own country right yeah Dude, when I my TikTok feed, TikTok is like my TikTok feed right now is negatively political. I'm like, I don't care. Oh, but it too. affects me because it's like a decision in my life. You know? Mm -hmm. I was gonna go there this summer and I was like, is that still a go? We'll see what know. happens in five, ten years. Cause you know, things can change. Yeah. Things can get better, things can get worse. But, but like what if that's just gonna be like the new war zone or whatever? Well, let's hope not. Because uh, I mean, I don't want America to have problems. Because I think you know, the rest of the world might have problems. Because what if we just move to Texas and it's just missiles flying everywhere? And I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a good log right there. Get a I'm cheap, a brand new cheap house, and next thing you know, someone's blowing it up. Okay, I I don't think Texas Texans you know won't do that, but you know. I think if it does happen, it'll we're we're, um, we're gonna treat Texas just like a Canada, <laughs> just like a Canada. <laughs> yeah, because it's like up there, but not mm -hmm. us. So oh, yeah. if Texas is like that, worst comes to worst, it's just like another. You know, it's like hot Canada. True. Yeah. Hmm. But hey, everything's okay. bigger in Texas. So let's talk about that. What's the biggest thing you've seen in Texas? I've never been to Texas. I haven't, I haven't been to Texas either. Oh, but I've seen like on Texas talk. I've seen uh, I don't know what it's called, but they have like a gas station grocery mart thing, and it's just it has everything there. It's like a mall basically. Wait, what's it called? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have Buc Bucky's. I think is that oh. the world's biggest gas station? I think. or is that in Vegas? It's in one or the other. Well, in Texas, they have like multiple locations of like it's not just like a gas station mart. It just has everything in it, and it mm. has a ni it has nice bathrooms too. Is what I so remember. Big gas stations. Like, is it bathrooms with a with a you know a swipe block or a, is do the bathroom doors that have doorknobs? Dude, when <laughs> I see that, I, I love some private poops, bro. We call that a pee pee. I think it's just like a you know in Westfield, like the walk in. Yeah, I think it's one of those. But I need to visit Texas probably. But once that cools down. Or whatever's happening. 
Mm. I've only been there on a layover in the airport. I haven't stepped out of the airport. But Houston's low key ghetto, man. I mean, we got to find out for ourselves. You feel me? I go Rockets. Yeah, go Rockets. Go Kings, though. Oh, I know exactly what crime you would do. What key? You know what a greasy Pablo is? Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's when you poop, right? Uh huh. And you don't wipe your butt. That's disgusting. So you just wipe it on someone's doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> so you're putting a doorknob up your ass. No, you. Oh, never mind. You, but can, I mean, you can do that, that. That's some good yeah. revenge for someone you hate. It's like I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically pooping on a doorknob. How do you even get your ass up that high? Like, oh man. That's you, some you acrobatic get a ladder. stuff. I mean, it's only like waist high. You can just, you know, put tiptoes in then. Or you could share it. You go try it. No, I'm not going to. No, no. Nah. His doorknob is. <laughs> yeah, it gets everyone. It's on a long <laughs> gets everyone. Gets he, everyone. he can take it off and put it in. It's going to get key. stuck in his butt. Uh, oh. <laughs> Who would you greasy Pablo? Jerome. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not this again. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Don't leave at eight. <laughs> There's also something called a Cincinnati signed wi- a Cincinnati sidewinder. What's that? Ask Oliver. I don't know, but <laughs> I think it's a position of some sorts, like sexual. I don't know, man. I've never heard of that. Well, I don't think you're as crazy as you think. Yeah. But I don't know what a Cincinnati what a sidewinder <laughs> is either. Hmm. So you don't you don't think what's going on in Texas will will detour our plans? I mean, the primary, you know, like, whatever happens, you know, SAC is a good place. Or, like, no, our our place in NorCal is good. It's a good backup, or it's a good forever, but obviously I'd want the plans to go through. But all you got to do is pray for no war, man. Mm-hmm. Or n- no civil war. Yeah. Right. That I think f- uh, definitely fuck everything up. Families that go I'm gonna drink this. to the border look for a refuge, so... As soon as they cross it, they're down to work hard. So I don't think, I mean, the government's going to yeah. find out if there would be a problem. But Nothing against immigrants. I don't, I mean, but like doing it the illegal way. Right, yeah. That's what I don't like. So with that being said, wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to drink this lovely kava right here. It's tea, baby. Kava tea. Kava tea. Oh, kava tea is that new? Oh, it's a thing. Oh, wow. This is just a cloud breaker, but you can have it in a tea. Yvonne does it in a black tea, I think. So, mm. if you ever want to try it that way, then why not? You know, what I'm saying? kombucha. Do it in a kombucha. What was it? Kratom. Kratom. What is it? It's like upper. Kava upper. This is like a downer. So if you want to think, it's kratom. But if you want to like be loosey goosey, this it's yeah. yeah. Like I had cr- the first time I tried kratom. You sold like <coughs> ten houses. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was on something else. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, but go. the first time I tried kratom was like you got a scoop of it. It's kind of like pre workout, oh, and then okay. you drink water with it. Yeah, and oh, in the bag it did say good before pre before a workout yeah no i have friends that take it and they've lost weight from doing that dang yeah um but anyway the first time i the first time i tried it like i got hella shaky and like really sweaty for like 30 minutes i had to go to the bathroom i just stripped it was crazy and then after that i was good i mean what did you do when you were naked like i was just sitting on the toilet Oh, but no poop? No, no. I, I just went there because I needed to take all my clothes off. I was just sweating really, really bad. Did you off take a kratom? Shower? Yeah. Like a kratom I workout or just kratom? Much. Oh. Yeah, it was my first time. I think I took too much. And, like, did you, instead of a scoop, you had a cup, a scoop, and you just... Basically, it was like a mountain on the... <laughs> no, he said one cup of kratom, one scoop of water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I was, I was just before. like sitting on the toilet, kind of like... Sitting on the toilet. Freaking out. I didn't know, like, is this supposed to happen? And then it went away. Yo. But. All right. So. uh, I was up for 48 uh, hours. I'll think twice before that. Because I just use, like, I use coffee or beta alanine as a pre-workout, which is. Black like, coffee is uh, good. What, do you use black coffee to get your day started? Uh, Sometimes, no. I'll, I'll drink tea because, like, coffee messes me up sometimes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, like a bowel movement. Bowel movement. And I'll have, like, a crash where I'm, like, oh, I'm, like, really tired. Like Later the one in, in SF? 
yeah. Like but I, the guy crashed into you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely would have needed coffee around that time, but yeah. So kratom. I, well, I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. We'll put it in the jungle juice next time. No, 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 <laughs> no. Go. no. No, 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 Avon, no. Avon, if you're listening, no, try it. No, no, buddy. So is kratom similar to kava? It's like a root. It's yeah, yeah, it's root based. It, root yeah, based. it's similar as far as where it comes from, but it has an opposite effect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. if you ever want to be like a dog with the zoomies, you know. So root of energy, basically. Yeah. That one's root of happiness. Okay. Let's yeah. cheers Anyways. it so you can get get on with your topics. Do it, boys. Here, I get my water bottle right here. Cheers, 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 cheers. Ah. So that's the tea. (laughs) Is that the tea? tea. No, it's not the tea. Oh, no, but if you do it, you should get the tea. I think you'd like it. You seem like a tea guy. Oh, yeah. I enjoy my teas. I started enjoying my teas during COVID. Cause I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I'm just gonna. Do oh, remember, remember that time when it was COVID and we were just sitting on your porch, literally drinking like, tea. Dr- we never did that before. Oh Drink. yeah, during COVID, bro, <laughs> Kyle couldn't come over because of mandate, and then we ended up like, I ended up getting a pot, and then I we just drank jasmine tea. It was kind of nice. Yeah, I need to do that again. <laughs> That was kind of nice. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty nice. Yeah. That's the sentiment I was thinking of, of doing like the, we're all reading books. You know, that still sounds, that sounds wholesome to me. Yeah. I'm down to do that. And it's, it's very like healing. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Honestly, we should make the, we should make a segment for like the last 15 minutes. We read 10 pages of a book. I'm down. Like we, we can start with the with hun- popcorn. Like a popcorn. With yeah. hun- we can do, what's that? If you, if you pick me to do a big ass paragraph though, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> hey, I'm going to pick him then. <laughs> what book would it be? Like Atomic Habits? No, the Honey and Butter. Honey and Butter book? No, Honey and Flour. You know, the, the, the very deep book. Oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is and that what it's called? They'd have to watch like honey every and some episode. Honey and milk. Milk and honey, I think. Milk and honey, milk and not honey. honey and butter. Honey and butter. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that, t- that outdoors guy. Honey and butter. <laughs> what would they use honey and butter for? Bread. I can think of some stuff. Bread. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Little f- <laughs> Whoa. whoa. <laughs> the pandemic was like about four years ago. Yeah. If something else happened, like, but, like, bigger, like, a big-ass crisis, what do you think, like, what role would you play? Like, you, would you be fighting out there, like, if it was a big-ass war or something, and they were drafting people, or would you be, like, running away? Wait, what kind of problem? Is it, like, a health problem, like, like a pandemic? It's, or like, like civil war, civil war Silverware. Wait, it's so, <laughs> oh, <spoons>. spoons. <laughs> civil <laughs> war meets it's apocalypse. Pork. The road. <laughs> Oh, uh, Civil, Civil War, War meets, meets apocalypse. apocalypse. Okay, but in a post-apocalyptic era, what would we do? Yeah, are you a fighter? Are you a hider? I, I would see you running. Are you a runner? Yeah, I'd be like uh, do you. I can see you jumping. No, no, no. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> I'd be like a a scout, a gorilla, like in the shadows, ready to attack whoever's doing the bad. Really? So you'd mm. be part of the resistance, dude. Basically, yeah. Okay. I mean, I would like to be. I don't know. I feel like I'd be like, just broken no. it. Up. Okay, fighter. Uh, no, I feel like you'd be a good map maker. Remember the Maze Runner? Oh, the hunter. F- yeah, the fastest people oh. usually don't get killed, and then they just go around the vicinity mm, yeah, yeah. tracking a maze. Me and Zo. Oh yeah, hey. that's a good callback. Hey, for me, man, I would you know, uh, inventory guy, man. I would count the beans. I'd count the bean cans, <laughs> spam, non so perishable. Hider. Hider. <laughs> what would you be? You'd probably be there with me. Hey. Counting inventory. Oh, definitely, podcast about that. definitely hey. a hider as well. I don't care. So we That's, got yeah, beans. <laughs> I, I am yeah. fast. I can run too, but. We have 10 bean cans. Last us for a week. <laughs> hey, but Key, I did you eat the last one? <laughs> Nah, man, they're beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. Wait, are you a hunter? I think in the in your post-apocalyptic era, what kind of animals are there to like chew on? 
Oh God. Oh man. I'm feeling it too. I'm guys. sure. I'm sure there's like some uh, rabbits out yeah. there. Some deformed rabbits that got like <laughs> increasingly big in size due to the radiation. Mm. Frogs. Yeah. Frogs. Squirrels. What are we Cajun? I don't know. Squirrels, birds. <laughs> Uh, we could go. I could go gathering some like beans, bean, berries, <laughs> some beans. <laughs> beans. Yeah, no, look, but what a if, bean tree, <laughs> bro? What if you got the Katniss Everdeen, bro? Have you seen the Hunger Games? What if you ate the berries? That's a suicide. Oh, it's like I love you, but if you make me kill Peta Malarkey, I'll eat the beans. Yeah, <laughs> or or berries. <laughs> and then. uh then they stop the whole apocalypse. Attack. Are there guns in your apocalypse? Or are we going bow and arrow and rocks like the Bible? Okay, modern day. We're not cavemen. Modern day. I All know, right. but in an apocalyptic era, it's assumed that there's no technology. But we have guns. Uh, do you need Wi-Fi for guns? No. I'm not, no, I'm not no. that manly. No. Oh, shoot, I gotta they literally it. hunt in the middle of nowhere. Okay. I do. I'd go find a plasma gun in the government. By the way, this is out of topic, but I know... How to like? Do you know how to raise up a girl in a cowboy? No. How to do? <laughs> Go ahead. You're gonna kill it in All Texas. Right, you ready? <laughs> All right, you ready? How do do, Jaira? How do? Oh. How do, Levy? Go, Kyle. How what do? The fuck you. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. That's the yeah. opposite of rising up. But Wait, hey. really? On on the real, what, what are you in the post-apocalyptic era? I, I probably am the hider, too. I mean, or or the runner. Wait, in your... The runner, in but your, definitely not the fighter. In your apocalypse, is there a, a car or is it horse only? Car, as long as you got gas. None of that electric car shit. Your battery's going to run out and they're going to kill you. Or they do like you. an EMP on it before you... I'll say fuck you. I'm that out. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like in between fighter runner. Yeah, uh, I'm in between runner and hider. Uh, mm. I'd want to be, you know, uh, I feel like I could be a mayor of some sort. It's in my bloodline. That's, you feel me? that's not an option. Well, I'm making this option. Like, you know, like every, you like know, the delegator. Yeah, every, you know, faction has a leader. But I'll be second in command, you know, because the. So you're the not first in line for an assassination. Oh yeah, exactly. I see. Because I see. Uh, yeah. what I know, this no one ever Strategic. kills, you know, a VP. Strategic. Mm. Unless you become the P. That's okay. right. Oh, but then, then, then someone else. You, you'd be like, no, you could take that spot. I, I believe that you would be a good role. How do? How do you? You'd be great. <laughs> Okay, in a crisis, and you had to flee, what would you grab first? My phone. Uh, is that is that a, a good option? Because then you'd have... I mean, what about have, the grid? You may not have a, cho a way to charge it yeah. when it's dead. But you can still use that as a weapon, low-key. As a weapon? Your phone? And if I... If I like, like, if you can, if you punch me, I'm going to hashtag Kyle's a menace on Twitter. Yeah, if you break it apart, there's this yeah, like there's your SIM card that you can use if you find another phone with the battery. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, you could throw it. Make them swallow the SIM card and they choke on technology, yeah. baby. Yo, oh, that's you know, like take that Ultron down. The the pieces yeah, of glass you could throw it like as a distraction. Mm. No, uh, I, I think the first thing I'd grab is my Rick Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that your favorite shoe? Is that your favorite shoe? That's Those are the ones that you would pick out of your collection here. Yeah, they're the most durable. Mm, okay. so, boom. You can beat those. Though, you can beat them up. I'm bleeping that. I like them. Rick Owens to the f I forgot we weren't cussing. I know. I'm bleeping it. Oh, okay. But the, try not to. But the FU is good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah don't I'll bleep that. Yours, yeah, yeah, because that's a clip. <laughs> that's a clip. Right there. That's oh, like, but on the real though, I think the either a sword or a utility knife. Mm. You know, you can open a blind. You can open a dang like a Swiss knife, knife. You know, saying what what the what the what the, what the, what the I understood that. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. That's why you my twin. Hey. What's the first thing you get in? 
I don't know, maybe like a backup battery or something. Mm. But the grid, like, that's why it's a backup battery. And then it's gonna <laughs> die eventually. I know. Like, I guess get something I, sharp, like Gian's uh, jawline. Uh, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, as long as we have him, we're fine. <laughs> hey, yo. I care. I'll carry you both. Gian, we just uh, killed a pig. Can you cut it with your jawline? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to ration food and everything, so we'll all have jaw lines by then. Oh, true. That's a uh, caloric deficit. I had a jawline <laughs> once. I had a jawline once, hey. but then there, I discovered pad thai. Hey. <laughs> okay, what year did you have the most prominent jawline? Twenty sixteen. Well, what, what's your physical? I you were peak? Like, what year did you have the most pad thai? <laughs> 2017. <laughs> 2016, I had the jawline. 2017, I discovered Pad Thai. Pad thai. Hey, that's good. It's Pad Thai is really way. good. Uh, for me, when I most had the prominent jawline and peak health was 2020. I gym twice a day because I was bored. And, you know, because of pandemic, uh, <clears throat> it really promoted self-health, mental health, and, you know, being creative in finding ways to have a good time mm. so yeah i owe 2020 that yeah you me i'm chronically jawlined <laughs> it <Yeah>. sucks <laughs> <laughs> me with the uh, like my best year would be like 2022 that was like my last year of college and then like 2020 was like building up my because then i went to the gym more that year that basically was when my actual fitness uh, journey started. With me, right? Yeah, it started with you and because I didn't go with my dad much. So, yeah. Now look at you. You're swimming in. You're swimming in pools at parties and stuff. <laughs> <Hey, yo. laughs> <laughs> just his. Just his. It was just his pool. It was just his pool. You want to give him context, like how he's the only one? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Swimming alone. I mean, how else are you going to get the attention? Yeah. I mean, you did, though. You did get... Yeah. You did talk to... You know, it like, worked. It's because uh, I was uh, helping Key let people in to the area, that the party, and then I got really warm, and also my social battery was low, so I just went to swim. Mm. Yeah. I can't believe that was, like, last year. I or two years bad, ago. but... Right? That was two years ago. Would you say your spirit animal is a fish? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> a big fish. Yeah, like an eel. I think my That's spirit animal is a squid, man. And I named him Squirt. Oh, because... Uh, <laughs> oh. Squirt the squid. <laughs> Wait, squid's you like, calamari? Squid's like uh, fart ink, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's its way of like escaping. I feel like you'd be a squid, too. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you got to escape with the, with the ink so you get, so you get out. Oh, my spirit animal I, I still feel like it'd be a tiger yeah because mm -hmm. one day it, it'd be calm i feel like we did talk about this in the last one but with this kind of question i feel like people would answer it differently every time mm. like the spirit animal yeah i think as yeah some day some months would change with how they feel like i could be a, a sheep one day What's yeah. the pl plural of sheep? A shipe? I think it's sheep. Uh, there's a lot of sheep. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, a flock. A flock? A Those flock are for sheep. birds. <laughs> a flock of sheep. They're flying right now. <laughs> like, bah. There might be a new pal. <laughs> but yeah, a tiger. Because like days, uh, some days I'll be calm, some days I'll be like, ah! Oh, you feel me, man? One was one was your uh, one one was your Simba year. My Simba year. I think it was before. R.I.P. Wait, are you referring to Simba year as goat year? Keon's feeling it, <laughs> or like uh, your comeback year. I think it'd be or my, the year you know you die. My Simba year is my comeback year, and that's that's like twenty twenty one. Which is when, when like the restrictions were lifted and then we were allowed to come back to I was never restricted. Can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. I'm I stand with the restriction. Because you know, 
But we didn't listen. Oh, no. But still, yeah, exactly. I stand with the restriction because we had to be creative with our fun. Oh. You know? Like, uh, sometimes, you know, like, not to reminisce, but, like, 2020 was the last GOAT year, and nothing has topped that. You know, uh, so much happened uh, in a span of... I got closer with you. Our friendship flourished because we initially met. Well, we met a long time ago, but, you know, we hung out late 2019. Mm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, 2020 was a good year for... Was the economy good? No. Well, you know what? I think people thought the economy was going to crash, but... Yeah, from, it's, from, it's a, right. from a real estate point of view, uh, real estate boomed after that. So, okay, okay. but people also lost jobs, so yeah. I guess it just depends. What kind of people lost jobs, though? Like more like the service workers, manual, uh, like hands-on work. Yeah. So, because like, like they're not allowed, to or anything, anything that had to do with crowds, like clubs, mm-hmm, yeah. restaurants. It did help with like businesses finding out that they can do remote because mm-hmm. then people can now stay. I'm pretty sure it was a good year for DoorDash. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it was just a lot of like, there was a lot of risk. You could get sick too if you were like a DoorDasher or Uber driver, but hey, that's still a lot, a lot of uh, revenue from that. <laughs> I DoorDash some Vons. Oh, <laughs> some what? Vons chicken. Oh, Vaughn. <laughs> Nice, nice. I remember door dashing sometimes. I hate the smell Don't of cry. foods. <laughs> huh? I hate the smell of foods, man. You can cry. Have right. you ever had to door dash <laughs> fish tacos? Why the hell do you door dash fish tacos? I mean, like... The guy in his car. Not the man. concept, but you. <laughs> Actually, so I don't think that fish. was me. I think that was you. I never door dash fish tacos. I don't know. Dude, never door dash seafood. You know why? Well, it was a Mexican restaurant. Um. Where were we that I door dashed? I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember the smell. Well, it was carne asada fries because <laughs> if you door dash seafood, you're going to get a little serving. Oh, yeah. Mm. But like fish tacos, that's like a catfish kind of because you think you're door dashing Mexican food. But next thing you know, it's fish <laughs> taco <laughs> uh, <what> the fudge <laughs> yo he stared at me and said fish fuck <laughs> <laughs> smells like fish all right what's your next question we got sidetracked because of uh kava does that kava does that it was the wait hold up let me reset oh yeah 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 what's the time what's your biggest phobia my biggest phobia ooh can i can i <laughs> You can guess, yeah. You guys can guess. Can I guess, man? Uh, goth girls, man. They scary, man. You think they're gonna raise you up, then they do a seance behind your back, man. <laughs> the uh, what was what was your guess? Oh God. What would be your guess? It's Balls not- in your mouth. <laughs> 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 nah. Uh, I. <laughs> reasonable if you're scared I'm scared too brother I mean I'd be scared I, mean, I, it's, it's, it I don't be, want balls it, in my it, mouth it brother be, I don't want right balls choice. in my mouth unless it's takoyaki <laughs> takoyaki uh, it's the lassophobia if you guys know oh I think me too it's fear of deep water I thought, I thought you were a swimmer I, I can swim but like in, in like pools open, in, open, fun, in open water though <laughs> I can't go like, hey guys, I'm just chilling in open waters. My head is thinking there's gonna be a megalodon that's coming up on me. <laughs> like, hey, a- it's just, it's scary. Yeah. I I swam out into the ocean one time, and I'm a pretty good swimmer, but the current kind of caught me. Yeah, and I didn't think I was gonna make it back. It was you, the moon spirit. You, way. <laughs> well, she and then what happened? I made it back. <laughs> Hey, so then you'd be a swimmer in the apocalypse. But my arms were hella tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be in the Navy. Hey, Navy SEAL. About to do it. I'm not that intelligent. Yeah. Key, what's what's your phobia? Philosophobia, but I'll make it interesting. I'll state my secondary phobia. 
Mm. Balls in your mouth. No, no, no. no. Uh, Probably bugs. Bugs? What kind of bug? Like insects, like something that's small, you like know, like crawling on your you like creepy crawly. Like whenever you look at whenever you guys see a bug on National uh, Geographic, don't you get a little tickled? Like yeah. like the ones oh, yeah, in, yeah, like yeah. the ones in Florida, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that that, you know, doesn't, you know, sit well with me because, you know, I'm a private guy too, man. But imagine if you're like in Nevada and then the locusts start coming. And then the dung beetle rolls up. <laughs> oh, the dung beetle won't hurt you because they, <laughs> they come in a single pack, yeah, you know? Yeah, they, they got to do their job with rolling I, I respect the dung beetle the most because yeah. I've seen them roll. And the if they, you're weird enough, people can might, might consider the dung beetle cute. Yeah, because they're little small little bugs that roll yeah but if i was in the philippines man i think i'd be scared you know because uh i got traumatized one time because uh in the philippines i was gonna go to the shower then i saw a cockroach man i saw a big ass a big bleep cockroach and then it was like i kid you not it was like the size of my fist mm. oh god i had a I had a duplex dude like i'm telling you man <laughs> Bugs have nutrients there. I don't. I, <laughs> Did you eat it? No, I don't. No. <laughs> there is a lot of tropical fruit in the Philippines, so that's probably out there. I hate fruit flies. Getting big, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just like yeah. I just don't like flies in general. I got bit there like so many times by a fly, by just mosquitoes. Oh. Yeah, but no cap, man. I think one nightmare was a cockroach tried to cuddle with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was moaning eating almonds. Oh, shit. <laughs> cockroach was spooning yeah. you. Yeah, hey, uh, with its cockroach. Well, what's your phobia? Stains. Oh, homeless people? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, homeless no, people no. a phobia. No stains on my clothes. Like you spilled juice on your clothing. Uh, That's a phobia. Yes. But like during like a public event. Anytime. Anytime. Anytime when Wait, I'm not I don't think home. that's a phobia. I think that's more of a pet peeve. It's a phobia. For like, me. Like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> like, no! Oh! Like, it will bug me for Dang the... It, it, will, it will bug me face. the... It will give me anxiety for the rest of the day. Oh. Mm -hmm. So much so that I bring extra clothes in my trunk just Dang, in case. That's pretty good. Yeah, solid. Yeah. I think I need to do that, too. Like, how do you feel about Tide pens? Like it could take off the stains off your shirt, take off your fears. Actually, I've never had a Tide pen. Before. Oh, you should get one then. You won't need to bring extra clothes. <laughs> but like, won't it just like fix a tiny thing? No, like, it you can't just like color over the whole. Thing. How, how clumsy are you? I don't know, man. And it could, it may not even be me. What if I run into? What if someone runs into me? What if like a, a waiter was like, oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> The chocolate what if, milk what if someone some, ordered? What if some bitch, like, <laughs> throws <laughs> spaghetti on me or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, woo. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That would be crazy. Uh, oh, gosh, there's a whole spaghetti stain, and it's like a whole, like, noodle line on there. Yeah. Oh, that's a it's very my, unique it's fear. My, it's my phobia. Yeah. 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 Kind of soft, if you ask me, but that's kind I don't of a know, valid phobia, though. Okay, bug man. That is valid. I, I'd be the one to get I the I bet bugs. that people are more scared of bugs than a dang stain. Like, what are you scared of? Kool-Aid with a white shirt on? Yeah. <laughs> the purple. Especially if it's, like, the red. red. Oh, the red Kool-Aid, yeah. No, but, like, yes, I get professionally scared. Because what if you're in a meeting. business meeting, but, you know, the Kool-Aid, you know, tries to do something to your shirt. And then they're like, you had Kool-Aid in your water bottle? And that actually happened to me a couple, like a year ago. I spilled uh, cranberry juice all over my uh, khakis oh, at work. No. It was bad. So oh, I had no. I had to leave. I mean, at least your testicles are doing good. Because cranberry juice are, is good for the testes, if you oh, didn't know that. Bro. No, you're right. I, I just like cranberry juice. I like the way it tastes. Yeah, it's good for the testes and the bladder. So good ups to you, win, man. Win-win. Yep. Yep. Do you guys have a habit that you want to break? 
Oh, um, I do this a lot. It's like when you when you wake up and then jack off. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's your coffee. Woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> like after you bust, like <laughs> woo. <laughs> I feel like you get clarity, like. Yeah, the, uh, but but anyway, like, my, that, that's your habit. No, that's oh. not my habit. My yeah, habit would be like grabbing grip. my phone in the morning and then like looking through whatever is on my phone, and then look. I'm looking at the time. Like, oh my gosh, that thirty minutes just passed. Oh, I think I I broke that habit a little bit last year, but that's because I was really busy. So now that I have like more time this year, I think I had to chill on that. Yeah, I need mm. to like get to what i'm supposed to do that, that day in the morning like wash my face uh probably do like some stretching light workout mm -hmm. drink water so less screen time less screen time in the morning okay. yeah i mean yeah it, low key screen time sucks the time out of the day man like you'd be like dang it's like i really watched tiktok for 10 minutes yeah and then you add a zero yeah and then it's like a hundred minutes <laughs> then you add another zero a thou a thou minutes <laughs> that's okay if you're watching podcasts like us that's true exactly yeah. uh a, a bad habit i think i'm uh you know uh i'm trying to break it but impulsive spending uh despite having a car payment and tuition i still find myself spending on a good amount of uh stuff from gear which is already good i have enough and clothes which is already good i have enough of the basics so you know I, my whole closet can last me forever and i can slap it on mm -hmm. and then it'll be like another outfit so i don't know why i do stuff like that like it's definitely bad sometimes i think the worst of it was 2022 mm -hmm. yeah but uh do I see it getting better? No, but <laughs> you know, uh I think the options are getting better. Yeah, I think the progress in life is helping me like do it more, but it's still bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah cuz uh job stuff is lined up, but I still need to be smart for my future self, you know. So mm. have some savings just in case. Well, what about you? I think I need to stop making all my decisions so spontaneously. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, sometimes it helps. Weren't you at the Grand Canyon randomly because you just wanted to go? No. Oh. But you stopped yourself before buying <coughs> a car, so. Yeah. That's because I had to be here today. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the decision. Sip the news, save him. He, yeah, yes. That's going to be the, save, that's gonna be the save title. Save the day. Of the uh that that helped me save 100k oh yeah <laughs> but um yeah just everything from like little stuff to big stuff just not being so spontaneous with everything mm. yes, oh i have a question yes, for, and think about it first i have a question for all of us mm. if you were looking at yourself from a third person perspective do you think you would you know be likable i think yeah I'd say yeah, because I'd I'd probably joke around a lot, and then that's how I literally build rapport with like someone new I meet. Mm -hmm. And if they're funny, yeah, that's immediate. Like, oh, yeah, this guy's cool, or this girl's cool, this person's cool. For me, man, I get a fifty-fifty. You know, my fan base is so divided. I think people would either get it or don't, because you know, uh, they're like, "Hey," and then the other crowd's like, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> or like, why did he say that? <laughs> yeah. What about you? I see why people don't like you, but I also <laughs> see <laughs> why I also see why people would yeah. like you. So like, I, th I think I have a realistic <laughs> view on myself. I think a lot of people probably would steer clear because I have an RBF, <laughs> resting bitch face a lot. But if they give me a little time to like actually talk, then I think I can I can win a lot of people over. Mm. But it's like, will they, do they have that kind of time <laughs> is the question. Uh, di how did you develop that skill? Because I don't, not everyone has it. What skill? RBF. It's not a skill. 
I think it's a setback, but don't you practice it in the mirror? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's as if I do. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. In fact, I do the opposite. Dude, five. <laughs> you got to turn it into a Riz face. I do the opposite, actually. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, try not to make an RBF. But it's like. Well, you have that permanent. face, you have to do this. Like, that's what that's will change it. Coming from someone who has an RBF, do me and Gian have an RBF? And if not, or if we do, describe it. I don't, G. I don't think you do. Yeah, I, you just look. For at least from my point of view, you always look pretty happy. Like <laughs> you're, yeah, you're chilling. Uh, Key, same to you. You don't look very. I think you only show your RBF side to close ones, and that's when things are like real like real shit mm. like to the outside world you don't really show that mm -hmm. so if i want to improve my rbf what are two things i can do guasha <laughs> the where uh, mm. see i don't even know why i have an rbf can you give the camera an rbf Oh, this is scary. <laughs> that, that's like a natural thing. Like people can't control it sometimes. No, I can't. And like sometimes when I'm just walking in public, I can feel my face like scrunching up, like my, you know, just looking. And like I don't know, when a stranger says hi to me, I'm like, no. and then and then <laughs> what's I'll wrong with the hi? And then and then I'll smile after that. But that's my initial reaction, mm. and I can't control it. Like, yeah. I'll smile and say hi, but it's, like, delayed. Mm. Yeah, if we were in the Hunger Games, Kyle would be in the capital. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can in see District it. District 1. They all, they all be looking like that. I'd be in the can't, middle. Can't stop it. President I think Scott. it was worse when I was a kid, though. Everyone thought I was an angry kid. Mm, oh, yeah, so it was, like, a natural mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense, yeah, yeah. And all, like, a lot of people in my family, they yeah, they're the same way. Like, they just, mm. like, they have that face. They yeah, have that face. G, do you have a friend with an RBF besides Kyle? Um, probably a few. I just don't notice because they're my friends. Yeah, like, I, I don't notice. But I think the thing about RBF. But did you notice before they were your friend? Uh, like no, I know. Because my friends noticed. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice your. I think because I met you from the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? That's weird. I met you when. <laughs> <laughs> You were in. We I had no in, knowledge of this. We were in Key's car, and then you were like in oh. front of me, you're in the seat oh, in front of me. Okay. And I was like, "Hey, man!" And it was like we had a cool combo. So you just heard me talking, right? And it was chill. Okay. Like it was nice. We were thrifting, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was the first time we went thrifting. Oh yeah, you tried the shosho on uh, chicken McNugget, the Szechuan sauce. I think he was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was good. You were really sad that day. I, remember. I was gonna say it was really depressed that day. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I hope. Make it brighter. Man. It was a distraction. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you know what Kyle said after? I noticed my friends are Tauruses. <laughs> <laughs> my guy friends. Hey. Which is true. You know, like a lot of your friends are like born April, May. Yeah. Yep. Every it's time crazy. I make a new friend, when's your birthday? <coughs> April, May. <coughs> that, it makes okay. sense. It, it fits the simulation. Makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you guys are super, super stressed out about something, What's your coping mechanism? I slap yo mama. Whoa. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So Probably abuse. <laughs> no, no, no. I <clears throat> I would say the gym. Yeah. Gym. You know, when my kinesiology major, movement is medicine. Mm. So, yeah, right. I think I would gym, edit, be productive. Uh, if I could, I would, but smoke a cigar. But I don't have a humidor. Mm, right. Or like a box. But that wouldn't be like. For the health, it would just be for like the mental. Mental, okay, yeah. But even then, you know, it's a bad habit. Right. It's not like we do it every day, it's though. Not that bad. I've been craving one. I I don't do it, but I yeah, gym would be one, because then it's like oh, I just gotta get, push the, these stresses away. Nice. Gym. Yeah. But it doesn't happen often. It's just when those days happen, I'm like, if I'm like really stressed out, I'm at the gym for like three hours. Oh damn. <laughs> Yeah. Dang, what do you do for three hours? I mean, I think a leg day could do a three hour. You could but, do 30 but, minute stretch, 
a one hour 30 ish workout but in between you're like talking to people here and there but if you're not talking you just sit there for like two minutes breathing getting ready for the next yeah mm. that that keeps the and then after you just walk like talking to your friends at the gym or you're just like sparking conversations uh like talking to friends people. at the gym but i have made friends just sparking random conversations at that's the gym. crazy i've seen a lot of people do that but i'm like how do you guys do that i mean we have to practice it's a lot of like little <laughs> it's a lot of little compliments here and there uh, like oh man that was good oh man you're strong like good stuff and then then you like oh nice buttocks no, no. <laughs> yeah well what compliments make it creepy like you see to a guy he lifted like three plates right and you'd be like i like your hair uh, like, instead of saying man like they just did they finished a deadlift like man i like your hair it's like man that looked really good i think it you would, said that to me once that looked really good. <laughs> oh i said i like his hair yeah and you'd be like oh man that looked really good but instead you're like man you look really good that makes it so weird you look really good that means you're watching them you gotta watch what they're See, doing that's what, that's what i mean like isn't it kind of weird yeah it, it it's like it depends on how approachable the person is if they, they seem like if they have like earphones on and they're like not i feel weird if i make eye contact with someone else at the gym i just have my head down do you think you're approachable no i don't think so either man like uh luckily we're close but do you think the people who you know they're friends with you, but they're not as close like me and G. Do you think it feels like breaking the ice every time? Because mm. I noticed like with people with an RBF, you know, you really got to break the ice every hangout just to make sure y'all oh, are good. I see what you mean. Maybe. I don't know. People haven't. I'm, I will assume maybe with some people that I don't hang out with that much. Why are there particular people that told you that? <laughs> No, but that's just what I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Not from you, but like people have RBFs and mm -hmm. you know, it's I have friends that I feel like I have to break the ice every time I hang out with them. Mm. Is it my fault or theirs? I don't know. But it's an effort mm -hmm. and sometimes it's a, a bit much, but me personally I haven't felt that with you, but it's just what I've heard or seen with other friendships. I haven't felt that either. Yeah. Yeah, we got pretty close, like 2020 to 2020 something. We were on your carpet laying down, doing the plank. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. With these balls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like when that's my room, right? And sometimes I hear the echoes still like balls, 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 <laughs> scary in your mouth and your mouth and your mouth. You got to add. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For balls, already, you have beds already. In there? Huh? You have beds already. You have a bed already. Yeah. Everything's in there. Looks like an actual like house now. Hey, so we'll do a second visit. Yes. Are yeah. you going to the Kings game? No, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I think I might I, be, I hate the Pistons. I'll be busy. No, it's like mm -hmm. that's the next, that's that. that's the next time everyone's coming over, but we'll have another thing. I'll so. be I'll be uh over, I think. I oh, can come over. like after? Yeah, after. I can oh, come okay. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Want to go together? I'll, I'm going after too. Okay, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Okay. Sipping cool. news episode vlog on the way. Now I like I like hosting now that I have like a nice open space of my own. Mm. So many more hangouts to come but 2024 is looking good got a new house and who knows what else i'll accomplish is there anything that like you guys are really really excited to accomplish this year uh i told you guys but i'll, I'll tell them the viewers later but besides that uh you know god is good uh I really owe him a lot, man. Uh, I, I never really had depressive episodes like that. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, he really did a lot for me and I bet for you guys too. Uh, mm. Financially, it's uh, I, I feel like uh, things are starting to look up because, uh, you know, I felt behind compared to the group. But things are finally, you know, I'm starting to feel like I belong more. You feel me? And, uh, you know, it's a mindset. You know, I have to be in a, like, uh, a good, 
headspace if I want to, you know, have friends who do cool stuff. <coughs> right. So, you know, I guess it's also a blessing that, you know, the clique I'm in, my main, you know, usually, you know, you could say that the majority of people, if they don't have it, then they have a plan. Right. And if they don't, they have it. Yeah. So in terms of 2024, I told you I'm thankful that God's provided me with opportunities. And uh, I'm, 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 uh, sipping news is going to be great. Yes. Uh, yes. That's what I'm looking forward to. I sound like a Baptist church. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, no, here's, like, yeah, the, here's, like, the, yeah. hey, here's the verse that I was mentioning. <laughs> Pulls out a whole book. But yeah, is I'm that looking forward. Is that a Bible right there? Oh, snap. I think that's a soundboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is your Bible. But yeah, I look, I look forward to more moments with our group. And I think our group's great because we're, yeah, we're all doing our thing. And then basically the grind of life. And we're working towards that while we're like giving each other time. Mm -hmm. which gives us that energy of like oh we got to keep going yeah i think the going. good thing is you know people are busy and they obviously want to hang out all the time but you know right. they'll be like he's absent for a reason not you know they're not they're they're not, not personal unless you're jerome but <laughs> <laughs> here we go again Shout out jerome. Shout out jerome. <laughs> yeah sorry like the, beam. like the beam we should me and Kyle, we should have an i'm sorry tour oh we'll yeah. explain later but you know <laughs> But you know what I, I've noticed about friend groups too? What? No one's new this year. They're just reorganized. Oh, yeah. I don't feel like adding new people. I think, yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is good. How's your guys' social battery? Pretty good. Like, uh, good. in terms of, like, meeting people, do you think there's social, more social potential, or is it like, this might be the end? I... So I tried it. I, this might be the end. It's crazy. We're still we're still in our twenties. No. Uh, I mean, meeting new people, as I think Kyle said this earlier, they can be acquaintances. Like they, we don't have to be close friends with them. But I guess someone that we know, like we we can like meet people and then become friends with them, and maybe we'll visit some area, and then they they can like take us around because yeah. we met them, and then they're in like boston or somewhere right. in new york yeah okay but how do you think you'll meet them uh recently i went to the bay to see my friend and then he was having a party and he had his friends there shout out and study baby shout out study default baby and um that was my like meter of like oh that's my measurement of oh i can meet new people still because i've been just hanging out with my circle my girlfriend you guys and then my family and so seeing that i'm like oh i can still make friends with people i'm like oh, okay this is cool we can but i i keep it to like a oh we're just gonna be like friends friends like not nothing too like mm -hmm. far in between like us like we get to know each other hey can i be more. honest though yeah i think josh made the cut oh yeah oh yeah that's not even really new anymore though yeah that he's, like that's like a year ago already yeah so I know, but this like year when he was new, he somehow made the cut. That's like right place, right time, right people. Right. Like all yeah. the stars aligned. <laughs> and they have, yeah, they have yeah. to be good people. And I don't, I don't see myself adding like meeting a lot of new people like that unless it's just like that, like right place, right time, like everything just aligned and happened to happen mm. like that. <laughs> Who knows, man? You, we might meet some Floridians. But, you know, oh. hopefully not because <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> go. And then it'd be like table party of 30 <laughs> for all of us. It's hard like, enough to get a table for 10. I know. Who do you think the face of the group chat is? <coughs> uh, I don't know. It, it, it hap like it kind of switches because there are some days where one or either of us are active. And then there's some days where the other there's others people getting active not everyone's active at the same time exactly though. so that i'd say like the face of the group changes there shouldn't be a face of the group it's just like cohesive as a whole because yeah we're on our own we're doing our own things then we just come together for 
another book session. Did you have any more things to add? That's pretty much it. That's all I got today. Good, yeah. good selection, man. Uh, good episode. You, you really Thank being you. the host that Woo! I wanted you to be, bro. Growing up, he, he really being the host like that. Oh, he he he. he. <laughs> <laughs> You you keep you keep the soundboard though. That thing gives me anxiety. <laughs> Gee, you want me to teach you how to do this? Yeah. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. I'm not techy like that. Keep it away from me. <laughs> but it's just a few buttons. This is laugh. There's like a million buttons on there. I think there's more. Bro. Uh, I think this one's Cardi. Oh yeah. yeah. What? My <laughs> what? Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was yeah, good. way more, man. Do you think there's gonna be sandwiches in the end of apocalypse? <sighs> An I mean, apocalypse like, or do you, you want to find yeast. some moldy ass bread and put a frog in between it? I grow there's some. Your grow some wheat. Make flour. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna have a lot of time to make that in the I'll kitchen. I'll be the cooker in the pocket. <laughs> oh, quick, they're attacking us. Hold on. Okay, quick question. If you see the apocalypse, do you think it'll be like bad for us? Do you think it wouldn't be bad if we see an apocalypse as just a great reset? Like, you know, uh, what if there was an apocalypse of some sorts, right? And then we just resort to being, you know, like our Filipino and Chinese ancestors. Oh man! Like, I'm but, gonna be pissed. But then we're we are already in like such a nice technologically advanced era. Like a lot of things assist us in doing things. All that rebuilding sounds exhausting. Right. So I'd say I'm thankful for. I don't take. Yeah, I don't take it uh, for granted that we have like these amenities in this time. Yeah, but saying if there is one, do you think you guys could survive? Did you have Boy oh, yeah. Scouts in your? Life. I had Boy Scouts in the Philippines. The most Boy Scouts thing I did was sell popcorn, bro. Oh, I never did that stuff. So, yeah, I think I'd survive. Uh, I I watched a lot of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> oh, I I used to because my uh, my family would watch. That like, would get the, you far. The National Geographic. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> History who needs Channel, clothes? National Geographic. <laughs> no, yeah, who needs clothes? <laughs> <laughs> naked. <laughs> Me naked. I'm like my natural habitat. Man. Oh, question. If you and your woman were naked and afraid, do you think there's going to be a relationship out of that? Or did were you more cohesive partners in terms of surviving after? Are you talking an about open relationship? If I had a no, random, in, naked and afraid. If I was in the show. Oh. And uh, your girl. And you were partner. And my girl? Yeah. Oh, then there would be romance in it. Because there is. Hold on. Oh, yeah. We got we to do like. But like a naked one, though. Yeah. Because there is a show called Naked and Afraid and In Love or something. <laughs> <That's what it's laughs> that, that is a show. That is a show. Because like, I was like, wait, what are you guys watching? Is that like a love, like reality version of Naked and Afraid? I don't know, man. But uh, mm. uh, we're going to wrap it up soon because we're pushing an hour. But uh, yes, sir. over summer, man, I watched Too Hot to Handle. Oh. oh. Dude, the... That's a. I would be very like mad at the other contestants because they're spending the money. Yeah, um, I think I would be good, man, because uh, you know, I was basically you know celibate. Yeah. Would do you think you would handle too hot to handle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not good at. I will. There's a money pool, and that's then that. Every mm, physical interaction, I would be torn. Pro I probably could be because I do care about money more than. Oh, do you want to do our too hot to handle intros? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right hi, now, I'm Kyle. I'm blah blah blah. I'm I gotta blah, think blah, about blah. that. <laughs> you want to go first? I'll go after you. All right. Wait. Uh. Sexy music. Or too hot to handle music. I. Th is it? Yeah, is it? Alright. <laughs> hey. I'm Gian. Uh, I haven't really been on the show, but I've seen it before. Uh, I know I'm gonna have some fun, but not too much. Hope you guys enjoy my, my stay here. I've been Gian. Uh, 
the types of ladies that I like is just my girlfriend. Oh! Hey! Okay. Shout out, Jagger. Scene. Okay, this is mine. Too hot to handle music. This about to be feral, bro. <laughs> I was not prepared Marcus for this. is a connoisseur Here, put it of on the, anything my that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer. Oh, oh, it's already good. It's already good. What's up, guys? Hello. What's up, guys? My name is Keon. I'm 5'11 and I love to have some fun. I like... You know what I like, you know? I think I'm a funny guy. I, hey, guys, uh, my name's Keon again. <laughs> uh, what show is this? Why am I on a boat? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Get out of here. What's up, guys? I'll see you on the show. Hey. Peace sign. Ding, ding. Jesus. All right, Kyle, you ready for your too hot Bro, to handle intro? It's going to be short and sweet. I am a real estate guy. Wait, here. Wait, I'm playing music. Ready? Uh-huh. Go. Hey guys, my name is Kyle. I'm from Sacramento, California. Nobody touch me because I'm trying to get the bag on this show. I don't give a fuck about your pussy or anything. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to get rich. Do up. <laughs> I'm not trying to rizz up. I'm just trying to get the bag. Oh, how about this music? That would be funny. Who's doing it? Uh, Hold on, I can do it. All right. You have to bleep out pussy. <laughs> I don't want no stinky pussy. All right, ready, ready? Go. Hey, guys. I'm Gia. I'm 5'9". I like to joke around. Hopefully, I got money. I don't know. I don't know if I could kiss anyone because I haven't done that before. I'm joking. I don't know. I have a girlfriend. Oh, wait. Why am I on the show? I'm too funny to handle. See you guys. Jerome, is that you? <laughs> what the? Yo. Hey, that was mine. <laughs> <Scotch one>. straight. <laughs> Scotching space. Uh. <laughs> uh, can you do one more for me? And then we'll All cut right. it. All right, here we go. Hey, guys. My name's Keon. I'm 5'11". I, I, I like medical device sales. Uh, I, I brush my teeth and I floss every day. I have a girlfriend, dude. Promise ring. Bling, bling. Uh, are you guys looking at me? Are you not entertained? Uh... <laughs> I saw an Indian eat oatmeal at a Meritage Hotel, a Marriott Hotel. Thought it was interesting. Uh, my favorite snack is popcorn, and I used to like egg pudding, but now I'm just a water connoisseur. Uh, I hate feet. Oh, gosh. Uh, enjoy the show. All right, Kyle, soon. You got to do one, Kyle. Okay, okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kyle. Um, I, I really like pad thai. Um, I have a porn addiction. Whoa! Uh, not, <laughs> not afraid to admit it. Uh, getting better every day, though. Uh, I hate reading. I'm a workaholic. And if you want to be my girlfriend, I probably won't have any time for you because I prioritize my friends more. As a fungal toe. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay. That was actually really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. God. We can end it there. All right. Do you have a last message? Uh, we're on uh, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, and... Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. And TikTok. And, and TikTok. TikTok. And IG, brood. And so like, news. follow, and subscribe. Yep. And if you are watching on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. Go G. All right. See you guys there. See ya. Peace. Oh, shoot. I forgot the soundboard. Oh. See you guys. See you. <sighs> Fire. Hey. That was fire.